Welcome back to the channel. So I've got to mention this straight away. I know you're watching this now and you haven't subscribed and I know you get bored hearing this from all the other YouTubers, but I'm trying to get 1 million subscribers. So I only need another 900,000 plus to get there. So press that subscribe button, like, and send it to all your friends. This particular video is useful for anyone that's got an Android phone. I'm going to show you how you get the best apps from the Google Play Store and how you get free apps really good ones. I'm going to go into detail how about to do it and but press the subscribe really do me a favor it takes a lot of work to do all this so uh, I want you to enjoy it and I'm going to basically here we go on my new phone here let me unlock it I'm going to teach you one, once and for all the final the ultimate way to get free apps and the best apps from the Google Play Store. Okay, so the first app, which I, uh, there's always a link below in my notes, is called Apps Free. I'm going to tap on it there. And every day they update this, and these are free apps. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of things that you're probably never going to want, like icon, icon packs and things of that nature. But by scrolling here, it tells you the normal price. And this is in Thai Bar. But this would be valid in other countries as well. It seems to be a worldwide app. Um, and it's very, very good. Actually, you can pick up some really, really good things. Look at the ratings for the app as well. Like this is a, an icon pack. It's got a 4.6 ratings, 10,000 installs. And quite often a developer has developed a new app. And with 3 million apps on the Android App Store, it's very difficult for them to get noticed. So they have to rely on word of mouth. So by giving it away free initially, by using an app like this, and there are other apps like this, but this one at the moment is the highest rated, um, is a great way to get their app out there, so to speak. Um, and you can see there's, a, there's ads in it, but they're not, uh, a, not a problem on this uh, app here. Let's have a look. Um, there's some games. Uh, let's have a look if there's anything interesting this time. Lecture notes could be interesting for some people. Some of the older phones, you could uh, need a QR or a barcode scanner. It's the, the pro mode. So in other words, it's normally 66 bar. You're getting it for free. And sometimes they have some very, very good uh, apps. Here's one here, 125 bar. Um, comes from India, 4.3. And you can share actual... Uh, the what's called the APK files using this app to other friends and family so very good highly recommended it's called apps free that's how you get free apps next we're going to go to the play store and let's just go here this is all the apps I've got I've got like over 200 now say I was looking for an app uh, let's have a look like called eWallet which is a very common name for an app. <clears throat> Here it is, Password Manager. Now you're going to see there's loads of these. So this is the one actually I've already got. 4.9 rating. You're not going to see many uh, apps of 4.9. It's a great um, app. And I've actually done a review of it earlier. But say you were just looking for just eWallet. If I type that in by itself... Now, loads are going to come up, as you can see. So how do you choose the best one? This is what I highly recommend. You can scroll down, and very quickly, you can see, as you know, this one got 4.9. It's already installed. But a lot of the others, like this one, 3.2, only 100,000. Actually, 100,000 installs is a lot. But not very, very good in terms of uh, the ratings. Um, some of the others, 3.9. And one of the reasons a app could start off with a very, very high ratings and over a period of time, um, it goes down to a very low rating. Why? The answer is, is a lot of these apps are designed by single people, if you like, one people, one person companies. Um, and They've sold the initial batch and therefore the amount of work to keep selling more 
is is a lot and they have to update their software all the time to work with the new operating systems so sometimes they just let it go and the problem by doing that eventually it doesn't work so well a new app comes up which is way better than that so that's why eventually it'd be a waste of time for you to install it so let me just show you a good example here which i haven't tapped on let's have a look 3.9 and the ratings is here you can see it's got 10,000 plus downloads 56 reviews now if you scroll down look it's a fake app so quite often these app developers also sell their app and some of these reviews are fake reviews so you can see look this is a terrible app and when you get loads of terrible ones and one really good one you've got to be suspicious plus next thing to do you go to about this app and it was updated the last time it got updated was over a year ago any app that basically has not been updated for over a year i highly recommend not to install if you think about all the apps you've already got on your phone now they're all been updated probably in the last few six months um sorry it's ten thousand installs so it was Basically, it was released. They never even updated it once in this particular app. So they never sorted out any problems, etc., etc. So other things you can do is, if you then go to the ratings and reviews here, tap on that, and you look at the most recent reviews and for the latest version. In this case, there's only been one version. And if you've got an unusual phone, say that you've imported from another country, you can tap that and it will show you if that app works or has been working on your phone. Press apply and it looks like the last couple reviews, good, okay. Not much work has gone into reviewing these. When you get single time reviews, man, it doesn't mean much, but normally they're not that great uh, a reviewer. First time user, one star, fake app, can't open it. It's a mixed thing, fake app. Um, I won't download it to find out. I'm not able to see some people that download it don't even know what they're doing when it comes to reviews. Giving it five star review, <laughs> I'm not even able to open this. So that's been done by an automatic system. So uh, I wanted to share that with you, how you get that. Other things that you can do, if you download an app which is a paid app, uh, you have about, depends on which country you are, usually two hours um if within those two hours if you paid for it you can then get your money back now how do you pay for it you can normally you could only attach your credit card to it to your google play account that's what i've done however some people don't want to do it they feel it's not secure depending where you again you live in the world you can go to a local uh, shopping center and in thailand they have 7-eleven uh, and they sell vouchers that you can use on the play store so you have a, a hundred bar credit 500 bar a thousand credit you just rub off the numbers and it gives you a credit much better way of actually uh, a much more secure way of actually buying apps and that works on any android phone other things say i was looking for um uh, let me try and think here a list manager list maker as an app if i just put in anything like a diary calendar this is quite recent notice on the top left you can choose anything that's above four star plus or four five four point five plus only and then it reduces it down quite dramatically your choice which is great because you're only going to see apps that got very high reviews and really you want apps that have been updated in the last six months uh, but if you really got the time and you really want to mess around and do more research you can look at the ones that google recommend new ones uh, you can also get ones for your family etc etc uh, that's also very good um, i think i've pretty much covered everything on the play store it's a really good app but i just want to show you be careful not to download apps 
really from single developers but they can be good but make sure they're frequently updating it they've got at least 10,000 uh, downloads they work on the latest operating system and they're being updated that's the key thing hope you enjoyed this I'll be doing uh, other apps teaching you how to get more out of your Android phone oh there's one other thing um, these days with the world becoming much more isolated in many ways if you need an app that is not available in your country um, you've got to be careful I'm really going to emphasize that you've got to be careful but you can go to alternative app stores like one of the best ones is called APK mirror where you can download apps but this they're side loaded if you like so they're not checked and you could be opening a can of worms uh, but nevertheless, they are supposed to be identical to the app that you get on the Play Store. Um, and that way you can get apps from banks or uh, apps that you can only get in certain countries not available in your own country. And unfortunately, there's quite a few of those of that nature. Hope that helps. Press subscribe. See you soon.